Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the brand new multi-select feature that is now available within the mood board editor. Now we had a lot of requests from our members for this feature. I'm really excited to say that it's now ready and available to you. And in this video, I thought we'd go over just a few key things that you want to be aware of whenever you're using this new tool. Now, what's great about it is that it does allow you to just click and drag with your mouse to highlight a variety of different items on your design board so that you can quickly select them all and then, you know, scale them or shift them all at once. So you don't have to waste the time to click on things individually and then scale it down and shift it over. It'll really speed up the overall process. Now, key things to note when you're going to use the multi-select feature. What you do want to do is you want to start by clicking anywhere outside of the mood board edges here. So this gray area, this background over here, you can click anywhere on it and then just click and drag. And again, I'm holding down the left button on my mouse click and drag your mouse over the mood board and it's going to start highlighting any of the layers you interact with. And when you release it, you'll see those selected layers. Now, the reason that you want to click on the gray area over here is because if I just clicked on, let's say this art piece here, and I tried to do a click and drag to do a multi-select, it's going to select the art piece and it's going to move the actual art piece instead because this layer isn't locked down. So, you can click anywhere on this gray area. And if you don't see it because you're on a screen, your computer has a smaller screen, what you can actually do here is you can hold down the space bar on your keyboard, then hold down the left button on your mouse. And that will allow you to grab and shift the screen. So you can actually move your design over to access some of this background here. Now that's one way that you could do it. Another way that you can do it is you can click anywhere on any of the layers that you've actually locked within your design. So I'm going to double click on this background image right here. You can see that I've actually locked it in place. I'm just going to unlock it for now. And what I would do is for any of the designs, whenever I'm creating a design board, it's always a good idea to think about the uh, layers that you don't necessarily want to be shifting on you. So in this case, the background image is, in, is uh, a layer that I never really want to shift on me. So I typically tend to lock that in place. If I lock that in place, that means that I can click and drag anywhere on a locked layer to allow me to select a variety of the other items for the multi-select purpose. So that's how you can kind of use those locked layers or this gray background image to basically click and drag to select specific layers. Now in this particular design, let's say that I want to be able to uh, adjust the overall size of the shelving unit and all the decor within it. So what I would do is I would click and hold down with my left mouse on my, or with the left button on my mouse, I'm going to highlight all of the decor items on the shelving unit and the shelving unit itself. Now, in this case, it actually did include the light fixture and the art piece within this multi-select, which I don't want. So to deselect specific items, what you can do is you would hold down shift and then click on those items to deselect them. So now you can see that I have just the shelving unit and all the decor. So now I can move this wherever I want within my design and I can scale it and just make the adjustments to all of these items all at once versus having to deal with this one at a time. Now, when I have it in place, I can click anywhere outside of that selected group and it'll deselect all those items. Another way that this comes in really handy, I'm just going to hide these two pillows here. Let's say that I built out this whole design board and then I decided that I didn't like the sofa that I had. So I dragged out a brand new sofa and then that new sofa was actually sitting on top of those two pillows that I had in my original design. So if I don't want to have to shift the sofa to access the pillows behind, again, I could click anywhere on those locked layers. And then when I drag my mouse over, you're going to see that it's going to find those two pillows that are hidden behind this sofa. And again, I would hold down shift to deselect the sofa and deselect any other layers that it had selected. So now you can see I have just the two pillows here and now I can bring them all the way to the front. So the multi-select tool can be really helpful if you're trying to access items that are behind certain layers or if you want to be able to select a grouping of items because you want to be able to scale and shift them all at once. So definitely jump into your design files account. Give this new feature a try. It is really going to speed up your process for adjusting items on your design boards. I think you're going to love it. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever about how to use it, then just reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.